is our folk dancing class. The students here are working on skills such as dancing with partners and learning different styles of dance. We're going to show you a sample of our dancing. I am in the sixth grade. I play the drums and violin. Music camp is a really great place to be. They let you be whoever you want. You know, you can do multiple things at once, and they really let you enjoy being yourself. I'm Amanda Mita. I am one of the orchestra directors here at MIDI Music Camp 2019. That was Boil 'em Cabbage Down. What you will be seeing is a clip of one of our fourth and fifth grade violin and viola groups who took Boil 'em Cabbage Down, learned the chord progression, and created their own arrangement of it in a different key. So they also transposed it to the key of D. And that's what we worked on in our violin and viola workshop. <laughs> jazz workshop. Um, we are actually jazz singers, so what we're doing is we're learning how to work with a microphone and we're singing um, we're singing to karaoke version music um, and it's a really great experience for all of us because we're able to um, work together as singers and understand the different styles of what we enjoy singing. I see skies of blue and clouds of white the bright blessed day, the dark secret night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. My name's Miss Kappa. Um, this summer at Midi Music Camp, I've been working with um, fourth and fifth graders as well as sixth, seventh, and eighth graders in a modern band workshop. Um, and in this workshop, students have the opportunity to learn the uh, guitar, the electric piano, the electric bass, and the drum set. It's a really great way for kids to play music that they hear on the radio, more modern style, and it's just a way for them to learn a really simple instrument in a really approachable way. <laughs>
my name is Anastasia Yupa. I am a counselor at MIDI Music Camp this year. I've been a camper for most of my life, and it, it's just a fun and great experience, and I recommend it to anyone. Incoming third graders, and as well as the eighth graders going into ninth grade, come back and be a counselor. Hi, I'm Sophia, and I go to MIDI Music Camp. This is my fourth year being here, and it's really fun. I play the oboe and the flute. I, I go here because I get to see my friends and play my instrument. At the end, there's a big concert and you have to be prepared for it, but like it's really exciting. I'm Ethan. I'm Morgan. I'm Nora. Um, I play viola. I play violin. And I play trombone. Um, we like MIDI Music Camp because we get to play our instruments and sing and dance over the summer um, as well as in school. We get to hang out with our friends over the summer when we normally wouldn't be able to as much. And we love music, and we love music camp. Good morning, I'm Gregory Bennett. I am one of the two chorus directors here at Middletown High School. I'm here at MIDI Music Camp for my fourth summer session. What you're hearing right now are the students that are involved in our workshop session, which are the vocal students in grades six through eight, those students that go to Twin and Monhagen. Um, we've had a great time during the last week and a half. They're working on music literacy, and I've been teaching them some folk songs and some solo songs that they can take back to school with them and to also use in their um, lessons when they go back to school. So you're gonna hear some students sing as a trio today, um, three guys that are moving to the high school from Twin Towers, and then a solo student that's also coming over to the high school from Twin Towers, so enjoy. I'm Deontay James. I'm Tyler Washington. I'm Elijah Cruz. And, and this, this is Music Camp. Camp. Hill and bell and slumber 
watching in the light of the world. We are marching in the light of the world. We are marching in the light of the world. See a humba, humba, humba ho. See a humba kukanyani kwenko. See a humba, humba. My name is Stefan Yupa. I'm an incoming freshman here at Middletown High School, and this is my fifth year doing music camp. My name is Elijah Cruz. I am also an incoming freshman. This is my first year at music camp, and this is my younger brother Aaron, and this is also his first year. My name is Tyler Washington. I am also an incoming freshman, and this is my first year at music camp as well. And welcome to our concert! Welcome to MIDI Music Camp. This is our ninth concert for MIDI Music Camp. Our ninth year um, of being in existence, thanks to our wonderful school board and administrators. We really appreciate all their support. Um, we are at record numbers this year. Uh, 250 students participated. <laughs> My name is Mrs. De Pasquale, and it's been my pleasure uh, to be here for two weeks with these wonderful and talented students. I would put that up against students from any other school district. Um, our students are the most creative, um, fun. Um, they're just awesome students, and that's thanks to you, parents. Um, all right, we have nine teachers this year, and we have 30 volunteer high school and college uh, counselors. Yeah. They have been absolutely amazing. Without their help, none of this would work. Um, they have been exceptional this year. And many of them have been campers in the past. So I look forward to seeing many of our campers coming up and becoming uh, counselors. Uh, we have some school, uh, school board members here tonight. We have um, Assistant Superintendent um, Amy Creedon. We have Mr. Williams is here. There he is. Uh, John Perino is here. And Rose Tobiason. Did I get everyone? Yes, thank you for being here. Um, we have a great concert for you. We're going to try to keep it moving because in addition to what you just saw, um, these are the things that were not in the video. Uh, we have many, many activities going on. So we will be seeing the major ensembles and choruses today. Um, and then we'll end up with our show choir. We're going to start today with our third grade orchestra. Enjoy. The third grade orchestra was directed by Mary Porcaro and Rachel Benedetto. Thank you. And Kevin Benedetto also. Oh, by the way, we just found out it's someone's birthday today. Um, I'm not going to say his name, but his initials are John Perino. <laughs> so could we all please join in in singing happy birthday to Mr. Perino. 
Third grade chorus. All right, so these students have been learning how to sing as a group, sing together. Not like Beyonce. Singing with other people is a whole different thing, isn't it? Um, lots of listening and blending your voice. So the first song we're going to do is called Sailing, and it is a round.
Olivia, Murray, and Rachel, directing the show. and fifth grade orchestra. While they're finished getting set up on the stage, um, it's been a real pleasure to work with them this week, and I'm super proud of everything they accomplished. Um, for two weeks is a short amount of time, and they sound amazing. Um, the first song that we're going to be playing for you is called Battle of the Ancient Dragons.
Um, I just wanted to take a second to um, thank all of my counselors um, this week. They've been um, so amazing um, and just so helpful, and I, I don't think we could do it without them. Um, so if we could have them stand up for just a second and say thank you. Um, I think you'll recognize this last one, so feel free to join it in if you're so compelled. So this is the fourth and fifth grade band, um, but we also have some helpers because we had some sixth, seventh, and eighth graders who opted to actually um, come to band more and come play with us, which was great, and it was great to have them. So if you are a sixth, seventh, or eighth grader, can you please stand up?
There's also a couple standing, but already, so they were back in there, too. And then I also had, as Ms. Mars mentioned, we had some really great counselors. I mean, I honestly, I lost one whole section of music one day, and I had somebody go and find them and make copies and do everything for me. And it was great, because they were there for everything. So um, all of my helpers, can you guys uh, wave or stand up? Or? They were really awesome. All right, um, our last selection is going to be Ancient Hunters. Our first one was Danza Africana, as the percussionists really love that one. And so um, the next one is also equally as fun, and it's called Ancient Hunters. Thank you. Okay, next up we have the fourth and fifth grade chorus, directed by Miss Lucas.
Thank you, thank you. This is the fourth and fifth grade chorus. Confession, in my 14 years of teaching, I have never taught fourth or fifth grade before these past two weeks. And let me tell you, I learned more than they did. Um, and I also don't know who had more fun. In nine days, the amount of work that these kids accomplished just blew my mind. So I'm very proud of you, and thank you again for coming. That piece was packed to the moon. Our next two pieces will be when I close my eyes, and we'll finish up with how far I'll go from Moa.
so much. Please sit tight as we transition to the 678 Orchestra. We are going to get started with a piece called A Very Short History of Music, um, which takes you all the way from Gregorian chant up to Stravinsky in about two minutes. It'll be a lot of fun. Our next piece, we're going to um, play a little Bruno Mars. That's what I like. But before we do that, I need to recognize my drummer, Jordan Christoph Gonzalez. He just started playing drum set. And I think this camp, am I right, Jordan? Yep. Yeah, yeah, like, like nine days ago. So blowing me away. Um, so hopefully you'll be as impressed as I am, and hopefully you still like that's what I like. I can't help myself, sorry.
And for our last piece, I'm going to leave the podium and allow a former student of mine who's so tall now, Trey Bell, one of my counselors, is conducting the piece, Trey Bell Walker. And um, it's called Pirate's Code. So hopefully you'll appreciate it as much as we did. Thank you so much. These last two weeks are like my favorite two weeks of the summer. So thank you for loaning us your children for two weeks and letting us do this with them. It was a lot of fun. So we're going to perform two pieces for you this morning. We, um, I have my solo contingent that are down here with me. Um, and again, I'm going to say to you from my own perspective, I feel extremely um, gratified and gratitude toward the fact that I have all of them and they're going to be my future. Because when I started last Monday, I said to them, if I wanted to right now, by next Friday, I'm going to tell you that I could make you sound like our all-county chorus. I'm not going to put my money yet where my mouth is, but I am going to say, get ready.
morning, everyone. My name is Miss Kappa. I have had the pleasure of working with the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade band for the last two weeks. Um, we have three pieces that we will be performing for you. The first one is called African Folk Trilogy. The second and third one I don't think need any introduction. I'm very excited to uh, present to you the work that we've been doing and I, uh, I guess we'll get started and then I'll talk to you in a bit. Thank you. 
I think depending on which band kid you ask, many of them preferred that as their favorite piece. That was Highlights from Harry Potter. Um, we had a lot of fun working on that in the last two weeks. As I mentioned, this next piece does not need any introduction either, so I hope you enjoy this next one. And let's get started. These are all what will want to be soon, and in near future, the Middletown High School Pipers. So that's exciting. Um, they've had a full, full array of excitement. They've learned two full routines. Um, I would be remiss if before I start, there's a young lady who has been going to the SUPA college classes for the entire summer program. She has given up her free time and not a lot of free time, because I've, I've seen her with her books and lugging things along to get studying to do her college credits. She designed both routines and has come down every day as soon as the bell rings upstairs for her to be released, to come run downstairs so that she could be a part of this. And unfortunately, she's not here right now because she's still in class where she belongs. But Gianna McGrath deserves a lot of credit for what she's done. We're gonna finish up our show choir portion. We've got grades three through eight. So I would say to you, look at my future, because here it comes. Two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> 
Always had high, high. 